Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you are here, I am so happy you are here. Today I'm going to share an easy, easy project for the holidays uh, that you can customize to any way you like. So what you're going to need are a couple of these sticks and I will have everything linked in the description below this video. You will need whatever craft paint you have, whatever colors you like. The main thing you're gonna need is a white paint color because you're gonna make, they're basically gonna be an ombre trees or you can do them, you know, different colors as well. Like I said, you could do them all in one color um, if that's what you want to do as well. So there's no right or wrong reason. I'm just gonna show you the process that I did. So I got these little trees at the Dollar Tree, and you can see there are like three different sections on the tree. Um, you will need a hot glue gun. I love this battery powered hot glue gun. It's been a game changer. Um, definitely put this on your Christmas list, birthday list, your tool list that you're trying to build. This is, this is so nice to have. Um, obviously a paintbrush, and uh, this is just a handheld dryer that I will use to kind of speed up the process. You definitely don't need that. A little bit of water, and then I'm just gonna mix my paint over here. So this, just kind of thought I'd share a couple of these that I have done. This is what we're gonna make, little drink stirrers that are kind of just fun and festive. I have a few colors over here that I have been working on. And again, you don't have to do them kind of in this ombre, oops, sorry, that sun's coming right in, ombre look. You can definitely do them all one color, which would be so much fun too, but I'll just kind of show you how I got the look of those. So I did not go out and buy any paint. I just used, I'm just grabbing some other colors that I used as well. I just used what craft paint we had on hand. Like I said, if you're gonna do it this way, you definitely need a white paint color. So let's open up our little Christmas trees. I'm just gonna kind of, move everything around here. And I will just start with, I'll just do the, what color is this? Crimson, so it's just like a red. So basically what I do is I just put a little, I mean, these trees are small, obviously. So I just put a little dab of the main color I'm using. So this is red. And that is the color that I'm going to use on the base of my trees. That's going to be the bottom layer. You could go top to bottom as well if you're going to do it this way. Just all kind of your preference. I do like that the trees have the three different sections because you kind of get your paintbrush right up to that little section. And it's kind of like you, it kind of stops you there if that makes sense. So they, that's really nice with these. You can find other trees as well. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description. And so some of the paint colors that I had, they kind of went on, I needed a second coat. So, whoops, you don't want to stay. So this little handheld dryer is nice to have, especially when I'm doing projects like this and I kind of want to speed up the process or I'm making videos or reels or shorts that I need to kind of make the process go a little bit faster. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna add, well, I guess I won't do that now just for the purpose of, well, that went pretty quick. I'm just gonna add another layer of paint. And the first layer is obviously easy. You don't have to worry about how much paint you're using. But if you are doing the ombre look that I was doing, you definitely wanna make sure when you start mixing your paint color for the next color or the next layer of, of paint that you, you have enough paint. And I'll show you. having more is uh, better than having less. <laughs> Just so then, and you're not gonna use barely any paint on these. Like I said, the trees are tiny. Whoops. 
and it's just paint. If you mess up, you can always paint over it. This would be really cool too with different colored stains. You know, if you had different color uh, wood stains, I think that would, I haven't tried that, but I think that would be really pretty as well. Okay, so I'm cleaning off my paintbrush. I just wanna make sure that I get it dried off here. I don't want it too watery. So then what I also do with all the paint colors is I put a little dab of white paint, oops, right there. Just a little dab of white paint. And so now I'm just going the next color up. So what I do is, I just wanna grab a little bit of the red and a little bit of the white. I want it a little bit darker than that because the layer after that's gonna be even lighter. So make sure that you kind of push your paintbrush down and around if that makes sense, because you're gonna have the color, the white or the red up further on your paintbrush as you're grabbing, you know, for paint. So you just wanna make sure that that's really mixed in as well and you don't get like a huge red streak through that second layer. So that's all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint this second layer. And you will have a lot of paint on your paintbrush. Um, so make sure you use all that. But like I said, this, you want to make sure you have enough of that color because it's going to be hard to mix it perfectly, you know, if you run out, if that makes sense. And I, and I kind of just go underneath the edge here. These trees are perfect for this. But like I said, you could definitely do this in just one color. If you didn't mix enough paint, you could, you could get a different color. You could do it again and just, it might be a little darker, it might be a little lighter. It's just paint, nothing to be scared about. Oops. So like right here, I know on this layer, I can go back with the red or the crimson, I guess that's the color it is. And I can touch that up easily. But this middle one will be a little bit harder because I'm mixing the paint. So, but like this up here, I'm going to be painting. So I'm okay with that. So there's that color. So I'm just gonna dry that quick. And I won't touch up until the end, so. And I mean, something like this, you could definitely just do the top white. Is that what I did? No, I did a lighter pink on the other one. Uh, but, you know, make the tree whatever you want. So then um, how I would do the next one is if you have enough paint here and you wanna make it lighter, obviously you would just add more white paint to this, right? Cause you just wanna go a little bit lighter than that. Or you can mix a totally different color with the red, but you can see how that just pulled in enough of the pink to give me something a little bit lighter. And again, I wanna make sure that my paintbrush, cause you can see well, now I already did it, but up here, a lot of the white paint was sitting and I just wanna make sure I don't get that mixed up when I'm painting the tree. So, more than enough paint there. And these are handmade, so you want them to look that way. Nothing's ever perfect. I tell myself that every day because <laughs> I struggle with that. So there you go. There's the top layer. I'm going to throw that in the water. I'm going to dry this, and I missed a whole chunk of that paint. So I'm going to, I can try and I'm going to touch up the red for sure. And I might have to do the middle layer a different color or try to get it the same color. If not, it's okay. I just need a darker pink than the top and a... There we go. I'm just drying off my paintbrush over here. So 
I'm gonna take the red and there we go, I'm just touching it up. This is a great project to do. You obviously have to pay attention to what you're doing. So to listen to one of your favorite Christmas movies um, or the music. Um, you can just kind of zone out and let's see if I can get enough of it on there that, oh my gosh. The dryer in between definitely does help. Um, if you don't have it, you could obviously use a hair dryer as well. Um, oh wow, I got it. That's awesome. That color looks pretty much the same. Um, if you don't, you just have to kind of sit it between, you know, each layer of paint. So maybe you do a ton of the if you just stuck with one color, you just do all the bottoms at once, wait till they dry, then come back and do them all again. Um, but that's it, that's basically it. So I'm gonna let, that's full, wait, wait until that fully dries. Actually, I could probably do it right now. My heat gun has to. But all you're gonna do then is take the sticks, take these, but look how fun they are. I just think they, you know, for a little uh, stir at the, um, maybe it's a hot cocoa station, maybe it's an adult beverage, whatever, but I just think these are so festive and fun. Even just sitting in a container um, at a beverage station, a hot cocoa station, I just think they, they're just they're just so fun. So, and you could, like I said, you could do these in so many ways. Um, you could use stain, you could use, uh, you know, just do them all one color. <clears throat> that would be a lot easier. <laughs> for sure. I don't know if this is gonna be hot enough. I was using it just a little bit ago, but I've had it off for a while. Okay, I'm gonna wait until that gets a little more warm and then I'll just show you how I do it. Enough now. So I put the glue on um, the bottom of the trees. Just a little dab will do ya. And then I make sure to stand them up like this so I know they're straight instead of doing it, you know, like down like that. I stand them up like this so I know that they're straight. I hang on to these until the glue, you know, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds until the glue cools a little bit. And then I wait till it's fully dry before I start, you know, pulling away any of the hot glue, you know, the strands or whatever. I just wanna make sure this is fully set before I do it. So I will let this sit for a while before I start pulling those off, but that's it. You've got a fun little drink stir that um, we'll just make, just make your little beverage station a little more festive. If you like this project or any of the projects you see here on my channel, I would love for you to share the video. I'm always grateful um, if you share or when you share and make sure that you subscribe when you are here. We are uploading new videos every single week. If you click on the bell, you'll be notified when the new videos are launched. But until next time, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you real soon.